welcome to dark mode. Whoa, a little over theatrical. Whatever, it seemed all right to me. Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I'm really excited about the new dark mode in OneNote, as well as the new super sexy uh, OneNote dark mode um, preset. To change the setting, we're going to go up here, click the three dots, options, and you can use color right here, use my Windows mode. If you want to change the font inside of OneNote, this is also where you do it. You select your font here and your font size. So we're going to go through a couple of different things that I think you guys really want to know how to do. So we did the change option already, so we're going to go ahead and click there. Let's go change surface pen. This is really important inside of OneNote. With this set to its standard placement, which is, and if you don't have this, it's in the Microsoft Store. It's normally set to seven, which means all of your lines look like pen ink instead of pencil. So what you wanna do is set this over to three, which is my preference. This way, when you're writing, you get this really nice pencil feel, which with tilt being part of what is supported in OneNote, having the ability to actually make pencil-like strokes is really, I think, extremely enjoyable and one of the things I like the most about OneNote. If you use your tablet for drawing or for taking notes, then this is the right channel for you, so please subscribe and click the notifications icon. Thank you. So we have a special guest, Marilyn from OneNote Central or OneNote C on Twitter, and she also has a YouTube account uh, that does a lot of information on OneNote. Uh, will be giving us our next tip. Hi, my name is Maya Lane Hoekstra, and I want to show you a feature in OneNote for Windows 10 that most people haven't tried before, and that is really fun, especially if you use digital ink a lot. So to demonstrate this here, right here on this page that you have open right now, um, open the drop-down menu that is all the way to the right of your ribbon. It looks like a down pointing arrow. Right, you got it already. And now choose Replay. All right. And this will allow you to play a, a, a portion of your screen or everything on your screen back in the order it was recorded, So, or, or in the order in which you inserted it on the page. So do you want to try it? Yeah, this is super cool. Look at that. Yeah. So isn't it was this wonderful? So especially if, if the whole process is important, how a page came to be, then this can be really useful. Yeah, that is really cool. That's fun. This is and this is a, uh, a design I did a couple of years ago, and it still remembers all this information. Yeah. So so what I think it does is it looks at the timestamps for each of these objects, and then plays the objects back in the order in which they were inserted into the page, or it plays it back from top to bottom, I'm not entirely sure because it's different every time, um, but uh, it is it is such a fun thing to show other people. And imagine that you could run some kind of screen casting software on top of this that records this and then turns it into a little video or even into an animated GIF. Oh yeah, you Just could do use that. Use your imagination. Yeah, oh, that is so cool. Thanks. And Welcome. can you tell us a little bit where people can find you? Where I'm most active is on Twitter on my uh, account OneNote C, C stands for Central, so OneNote Central. And that's where I post daily updates about what is um, currently being talked about, uh, about OneNote, the latest tips, tricks, resources, news bits, and so forth. Yes. Yeah, you have to check out her. Uh, content. She's that's actually the reason we know each other is because mm -hmm. I found something that she had posted on YouTube that was really helpful to me. So I'll put the link to her stuff in the description. And can you pronounce your first name again? Because it's hard for me. Okay, my first name is Mario Lang. When you would like to pronounce it in Dutch, but um, I'm speaking English so often that I just go by so many names. So you can just call me Marilyn also. Totally fine. Got it. Marilyn. So Marilyn. 
yes. at one note C. Yes. Um, Marilyn, that was perfect. All right, thank you. Thank you. Over here to the left, you can see the artist pad. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, this is the software that this channel is about. I love the way that this one blends with dark mode uh, OneNote. It looks so good together. So I'm a big fan of gray and black and more gray and then little accent colors. Anyway, the link for this will be in the description. Uh, you can go to the Tablet Pro website and download it. And I'll include the installer for Tablet Pro as well in the same uh, zip file so that it's easier for you guys to get access and install. And check out our install guide uh, so that it's easier to install and get set up and started. So a quick demo here. Uh, I have the pen tool mapping the side button of the Surface Pen to Control Z. So you can see I'm doing undo, which I can do over here as well. Let's write a little bit. And I'm gonna press this button right here. This, using the adaptive uh, modifier function in the pen tool, now just change this button to just control, which allows me to select, copy, paste, repaste, uh, scale undo a lot of different things that were really hard to do before if I hit escape This all becomes undo again, whatever I have it set up in the tablet pro pen tool to do so Ink to text and let's go ahead and select this we're going to do bold italic uh, underline they're going to add different things here to the beginning, which you can see is pretty easy to do. I'm a big fan of this type of functionality. It's a lot faster than using a lot of the other processes that we do. So you can see just kind of a little demo of how the artist pad works. So the pen tool, which you can get in the Windows Store, I'll put that in the description here. Uh, this is kind of, is very critical to making this work the way that I like it to work. So here, input mode, you can select and put whatever you want here. So I can do redo, undo, um, you know, it doesn't really matter. So here we're gonna put this as uh, undo. And then here in settings, adaptive modifiers behavior, make sure that that is checked. And that's all you have to do. And then when you're going here, this is going to behave as undo. And let's say we want it to be control. So I tapped control. And now that's gonna behave as undo as a control. Now, as soon as I want to change this back to just undo, all I have to do is hit escape. And then this is gonna work as undo. And this is what our adaptive modifier functionality is. So you wanna pay attention to what color you're using. Uh, there is obviously the ability to switch back and forth between uh, which mode, uh, dark mode and normal mode you're using. This is white here in the center. I don't think you can even see it unless I scale this way, way down. Really hard to see. So if you're working between light and dark modes, you're, you're going to want to pay attention to what color you're using. Typically, I will use kind of a uh, silver blue. That's this color right here. And that works well in both dark and light modes. If you have some text and uh, it's not actually transferring the color correctly, you can just select it. Or you can use uh, Control A and select your entire document. And then go into the draw mode and just select a color that's compatible. So if we wanted to make this uh, red, we can just tap on that ink color or that pencil and it's gonna change the color of the document so that it works in light and dark modes. It's a really handy tip if you have old documents that haven't converted to a color compatible with the dark mode. I like these ruler lines here. You can set them up by being in the view tab and clicking here. I choose also always create pages with ruler lines because when I'm taking notes, I always like to have it set up correctly. Now, typically by default, your page is going to look like the tiniest little rule lines you've ever seen. Uh, I actually still prefer having the smallest one and then zooming in and then just staying like this the whole time. Uh, otherwise, you're doing this kind of dance between adjusting your uh, font size 
and other things in order to make this all fit together, and I just don't like doing that. Now we have uh, a couple other OneNote videos, uh, Getting Started series, and then also a page setup that includes some, but some different things that you may want to consider when you're setting up OneNote. It's a very simple guide. If you're just getting started in OneNote, you're going to want to check out that video. I have that link in the description. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have questions, please put a comment and let me know what it is you want to do or want to be able to do inside of OneNote. My top two requests that I would really like to see is I'd like to see a color picker or a color selector for the pen so you could press a hotkey over here and choose between um, either a palette like this, which would be wonderful, a hotkey that opens this up for the pen, as well as the ability to actually just change the size of the pen with a keyboard shortcut. I think that would change uh, the way OneNote, uh, it would change OneNote in a lot of positive ways. Instead of making it a little bit, you can draw in OneNote, I think people would start to prefer it. All right, so that's my two top favorite, two top favorite suggestions for OneNote. Uh, also put your comments, your suggestions as well. I'll be trying to get in touch with the OneNote team to see if we can implement some of these things sometime soon. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative.